Hello everyone, this is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. And today, I was going through my, um, actually yesterday I was going through my closet and I found a box of cards that had little sets, you know, regional type sets. And I wanted to go over this thing. It's just a box that had a whole bunch of small little sets in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through some of these. I did, the one I'm gonna go through right now is, is this one here because this is one that many people have not ever seen. So I'm gonna go through that and a few other ones that I got in here that I'm gonna go through too. I'm gonna go through these, this set here, and I've got a few other sets in here that I wanna see. This is the Drake's. So I wanna show you those. So anyway, I got a bunch of small little sets in here that I wanted to uh, kind of go through. And what I'm gonna do first is let me go through this one here. I don't know if I'm, I'm probably just gonna do one, a video on this one, and then I'll do a separate video. So I don't do a whole long half hour video like I tend to do a lot of times and ramble on sometimes too much. So this is the one, I did a little research on this one and this, this is called the uh, the Broder set or Broder set, but I think it's Broder, B-R-O-D-E-R. -E and this set is a 50 card set. It's an unlicensed set. It was created by uh, Rob Broder in 1986. And um, Rob Broder was a photographer. And what he did is he sold photos. So these are actually, uh, Photos, see it says in the back here, photos by Rob Broder. So what, this is a set of 50 cards and, and what Rob did was he was a photographer and he also was a son of uh, a photographer, a, a photographer, famous photographer, Ed Broder. And they do a sports photography and he initially created the set to advertise his five by seven and eight by 10 uh, photographs that he had for sale. And this particular set was kind of scary for dealers at the time. And, and dealers didn't carry them because they were unlicensed. And people were worried, well, you know, I'm going to get in trouble selling these cards or not. So I remember when I was a dealer back in those days, uh, he, there was like a price list of, of some things that he did, that Broder did, and uh, mainly photographs. And this is one of the things that he did with the cards. But, and what I like about these cards is they're very similar to the uh, 19, um, the 69 uh, inserts with the rounded uh, borders there and the beautiful photography. So what, what this set did though, is it set up and you know, when it launched in 1986, this was the first year, it ended up launching a, a slew of unlicensed sets over the next seven to eight years. So the, it was one of those things that, um, you know, you won't see many of them. He did release another set in 87 and 88 and 89, I think from 86 to 90. So, but I want to show you this because this is the his inaugural set. And it is in 1986, so it actually has uh, a lot of rookies in here. Of, uh, and I'll, sh I'll go along and I'll show you that. Let me get a good look at these so you can really take a good look at these. These are beautiful cards, you know, done by a photographer who, um, who really is, is, an, is awesome. The thing, and, you know, they were uh, not officially licensed, so they were not uh, approved by Major League. So number one is Eddie Murray. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go through the cards here and show them to you. Because you may not have seen many of these, these cards at all because you don't see them for sale too often. But uh, anyway, this is uh, the Jose Canseco. And there's a few of them here. And this Jose Canseco is actually a rookie card. It's from 1986. Here's Dwight Gooden. Great 
photography. And these are young pictures of uh, Daryl Strawberry and all of these players. I mean, this is a 1986 set. So these pictures were probably taken around 1986 or, early, or late 85, I would imagine, by the photographer Rob Broder. And th these are also available in five by seven photographs. But these little cards are, are you know, I, I don't like to say rare, but you don't see them very often because uh, like I said, dealers were very hesitant and very few of these were actually purchased and, and made. They were very limited because they were more promotional cards to promote the uh, photographs. So there were many versions of the photographs done in, in a card and they are like a photograph, but it's a card. It's just like the, uh, the 69 inserts. And that's the Ripken. Great photographs of some great players. There's another great strawberry, Daryl Strawberry photo. So I wanted to share this with you. I don't know if you guys had ever seen these uh, Broder cards, 1986 Broder cards. This is the set. And what, you, what you're going to find in this set is a lot of Hall of Famers and some of the, well, basically some of the big players at the time. You know, here's Gary Carter. Of course, Don, Matt, Don Mattingly, this is like a second year Mattingly. It's a beautiful Mattingly card. Beautiful picture. These are gorgeous cards. I mean, it's almost like a photograph. You know, they've got the player name, and in the back, it's got the player name and just number 11. No Major League uh, logo, but it's got the Major League, uh, you know, it's, it's the player in the uniform at the time. Back in 1986, there's Manning Lee with his mustache. So beautiful cards, you know, and, and I just never see them. And when I was going through the box and I saw them, I said, you know, let me go ahead and video these and see if anybody else knows a, a lot, anything about them other than what I just explained to you. So if you know anything else about these cards, you know, let me know in the comments, the production, how many were produced. You know, I know, I know they, this is a set, but you could buy them individually, not just by the set. I got them as a set back in the day because I ordered them directly. Uh, there was like a brochure, a little pamphlet that he, that Broder had. And he would send it out to a lot of the dealers and you would uh, order the, uh, you know, the eight by 10 photos. And, uh, and then he had these little promotional cards, which were just kind of to promote the, uh, the photos. So I never sold these when I was a dealer at that time, because, you know, people worried, the dealers were worried that these were unlicensed and you know you couldn't really sell unlicensed stuff but people really wouldn't I, I thought they wouldn't be interested in these and many dealers did the same thing so these really were not distributed too much that's why I couldn't there's Vince Coleman I said it's got all the stars of the day or who he thought were going to be the future stars so, so Rob Broder went and took pictures of all these guys. Look at this beautiful picture of Ricky. Love that card. Beautiful card of Ricky Henderson there. Young Ricky Henderson. Not that young. I guess this was 86, so he was, uh, this was a six-year card. Here's Glenn Davis. He was supposed to be a big time star. And the same with uh, Peter Clavilla. Here's Willie McGee, great player, Willie McGee. Here's uh, Ryan Sandberg.
Great photography on these. So I'm going to go through and show you some of the, this set. It's only 50 cards. Here's the strawberry, another strawberry. So you've got a few, you've got, you know, some of them were action and some of them were portrait. There's Ozzy. So that's card number 26. Here comes Tim Raines, Rock Raines. And here comes uh, the Bonds, Bonds rookie. This is an 86 Barry Bonds. So technically it is a Bonds rookie, but it's an unlicensed Bonds rookie. Or pre-rookie. I don't know when this came out, but I know it was in, in 86. That's a beautiful card of a Barry when he was young, before his steroid use. Same thing with Roger Clemens. Second year Roger Clemens here. He's warming up there and I don't know where that was, what field that was. But uh, nice, nice pictures. Here's uh, another one that people thought was gonna be a great player, Corey Snyder. Didn't work out too well for him. And here is one of the great players, Pete Rose. There's Pete hanging out. There's another young uh, Manning Leap. This set had all the stars of the day. Beautiful pictures, you know, they had the rounded corner. They're smaller cards than the regular card. They're, they're like the uh, 69 uh, Topps inserts. Just like them. Except the 69 Topps inserts, I think in the back it has like in a little box the name and stuff like that and the number or whatever. But Very similar, same feel, same type of card. There's the Wade box. Got a few, couple of boxes in here. Got a couple cards of the, the big Hall of Famers. I don't know if John has this, John Wade Box fan has these cards. He probably does. But they're not cards you see very often. And they are, you know, really unlicensed. But still, that's a nice Wade Box card there. Here's Joe Carter. There we go with Vince Coleman. Will the Thrill Clark with his famous swing. Great picture there, Will Clark. Here's uh, Mike Schmidt. This is one that Adam from Vintage Century would like. 1986 Mike Schmidt Broder Cart. Here's uh, Jim Rice. There's another manly card. This is a sweet one. Look at the swing on this. I love that. Looks like you're right there watching them in the game. Look at that. Nice picture. Don Manning. How he used to crouch down there and you had to throw it right down the middle. Here's uh, Gary Carter. Serious Gary Carter there. And here's another Manly. I don't know how many Manleys are in this set, but there's a few of them. Here's another nice Manly card. Another Manly. Here's Eric Davis. Another incredible underrated player back in the day. Here comes another Pete Rose. Later years Pete Rose. I wanted to show you guys this uh, Broder set. It's 50, a 50 card set. And you can see it's got a lot of all the starts of the day. Robin Yount. Here's Steve Sachs. Here 
And here's a nice Tom Seaver here. Here's Tom Seaver. That looks like it was at the same stadium as the other Roger Clemens. Here's one of the, another one that was thought to be a big star back in the day, Pedro Guerrero. Still was a great player. And here's another one of uh, Tim Rock Rains. Great photos, great little cards. I mean, they really, really look nice. You gotta see them in person because it's just really, they just jump right out. You know, they're, they're beautiful photographs. You know, they're, they're a card. So they're really, really nice, you know. Again, this is the uh, the Broder set. You know, the nice, nice cards there, Conseco, and uh, the other ones here that, that we got in here. So that's the Broder set. If you hadn't seen it, that's what it looks like. It's got a lot of great guys in here, great players. It's just showed it to you all. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, show you a few other little sets in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one right now and post it today and uh, and see what else I got in this box. So thanks everyone for watching my videos. This is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It's been great hearing all your comments. So I truly, truly appreciate your comment and uh, we'll always respond back. Uh, thanks again for watching. This is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. Have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys.